Good morning, everyone. Thanks for clicking the video. I really appreciate it. Today, we're making tomato sauce. But first, I have to pick the rest of these tomatoes. <sighs> there are so many. I'm pretty sure we have 10 bushels at least. Now when you pick your tomatoes, you have to make sure they're nice and ripe, beautiful and vibrant red. Just like that. And they have to be Roma tomatoes. You don't want to use anything but Roma tomatoes. Now these tomatoes have the pulpiness in your sauce that you want. And don't forget to smell your tomatoes, especially ones from the garden. They smell amazing. I could just like eat all of these right now, but I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna take this last bushel inside and we're gonna get started. All right, here we are. We've already started, and by we I mean my father over here. Mario! He's already done a bushel in the time I've shot everything so far. Um, so I'm gonna put the camera down and get rolling here. And by rolling, I mean working on tomatoes and not rolling film. Tomato sauce, you need Roma tomato. It's more, it's better, more dry. Yeah, it's more dry tomato. He's motoring right through this. For every one I do, he does probably six. He's also doing it with two hands, too. So once we're done cutting all these tomatoes up, we're gonna stick them in the blender and turn them into paste. So while you're cutting these tomatoes, you gotta be careful that you don't catch any bad tomatoes with black or moldy spots. Just cut them away, toss them out. So what we're doing here is we are taking the tomato and we are slicing it right down the middle and just giving it a squeeze and throwing them in the container. So if the, the butt of the tomato is too big, you can cut it out. If it's ripe and soft, you just squeeze it right in there. You don't even need to cut every tomato like him. And he, he's done three bushels in the time I've done half of one. Four bushels. Four, bu oh yeah, four, he's done four bushels in the time I've done one bushel. So he just found a tomato that looks really bad. It's just super soft, super moldy. We're not gonna use it, but let's cut it on the inside. And it's gross. After we pick the tomatoes, we wash them the night before and stick them in the bushels. Just gotta make sure the bushels are nice and clean. Yeah, wash on it pretty good. Bushing is all wash. He just finished another bushel. Uh, you bring it too close to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you do happen to drop a tomato on the ground, you can easily just take it, <laughs> wash it in its own juice, and you're good. It is all acid, so you are washing them with a good, uh, with a good cleaner. Your hands will turn white after you're done you can see making the sauce. Oh yeah, they sun no more. Yeah, that's that? that's the acid burning our hands. <laughs> oh wow! That's a big change, huh? It's like you someone bleached it. your hands. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. The acid is so strong. Last 
tomato and I've finally done one bushel. Luckily for me, there's only one left. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice. And if they're really bad, you'll be able to smell them. Haven't had a really bad smelling one yet. At least I haven't. That's good now. When you pre-wash your tomatoes, always remove the bad, moldy ones. I mean, you do get a few bad ones, like right here. Here's a bad tomato. Not anymore. But the majority of the moldy, rotten ones are gone. Note to self, don't squeeze the tomatoes up here. <laughs> or else you're gonna have a tomato juice shower. If you're feeling angry or stressed, we Make some tomato sauce. <laughs>squeezing the tomatoes we're going to put them in this press which will remove all of the seeds and the skin and crush it and then we're, it's gonna dump it into this container into this big bucket we have three containers let's get started finished grinding all the tomatoes and now we're going to start jarring them. My father right now is putting basil inside each jar. How many jars are here, Pa? I don't know, yeah, about maybe 150, I would say. 150 jars? 150, something there on there. That's a lot of jar. been such a long and exhausting day. We started at 7 a.m. and by 6 p.m. we had everything clean and washed. Now the jars are still in the barrels behind me and they've been cooking for about two to three hours. We won't be able to remove the jars until tomorrow because it is simply too hot to lift the lids, stick your hand in that scalding hot water, and pull the jars out. If you do, you're crazy. 
don't do it. So we're just gonna wait until tomorrow to take him out. There is a pot of sauce on the stove cooking right now, so I can't wait for dinner. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. As always, I appreciate all the support you guys give me. I really, really do. If you liked today's episode, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more and more content. And while you're at it, turn on the notification settings so you know when I upload a new video. Until then, thanks again for watching. Now I'm gonna go have some pasta with fresh tomato sauce. Everybody take care, stay safe, I'll catch you later.